everyone, Raquel Patterson here coming to you on day five of our 21 to 1 challenge. And today I have with me my co host, my oldest daughter, Monet, Monet <laughs> Patterson. Monet Patterson, M O N E T, a little asterisk over the E, but you're silent. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, great, fantastic. So now you know Monet. Okay, so um, today, how are you guys doing? Oh, today was a beautiful day. It was 34 degrees, but the weather was so stunning. It really was. And it was a very productive day. I felt like I did a lot more movement today. So, mm -hmm. and I've been jamming to my song. Oh, what's my song? What's my song? Anyway, I'm putting it on for y'all. So y'all can hear before we go. <laughs> okay, but anyway. <laughs> Um, so, you know, we're coming to you guys to vlog, um, with my sister, Havila Malone, we're doing this 21 to 1 challenge, and a portion of our challenge is to vlog our experience, so that you guys can see what we did, our mistakes, our ups, our downs, our, um, recants, amendments to our previous challenge, and, you know, this is take three. Third time is a charm, so I think we've got it down pat, and we are moving and shaking and doing great. And um, I keep looking because, you know, okay, so for those of you who know me, my hair was jet black growing up, and so I went and got this color, and this is supposed to be midnight, midnight blue? Midnight blue black. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, this color makes my skin look more yellow, whereas the red, it made my skin look reddish my reddish tones came out mm -hmm. this is gonna take a minute but anyway it just threw me off track because you know you can see this dark contrast in the computer image okay but anyway my 21 to 1 challenge exists um with my or consists of my exercise and so today i did great on my exercise um you know i kept moving and i have to press through my today you know what it really wasn't my hamstrings that were hurting me at early morning they may have hurt a little bit you know a little twinge here and there the more i walked the looser they got the better it felt um but i did have pain in my hips so i hope my hips aren't realigned again i mean i haven't been doing any strenuous activity to make my hips pop out of place but um, I have to make a chiropractic appointment, hopefully before the new year, so I can get that done. Anyway, that means I have to go tomorrow. Okay, so um, yeah, check, check. And then my purposeful living, um, you know, I got that piece done, um, looked up some information, submitted a one application, and got that done for the week. And then um, healthy eating. So, you know, I had my smoothie this morning, and I had my spinach salad. I'm not hungry right now. I may get something later on. If not, I continue sipping on water all night. And I'll be good. And then, of course, this blog. And um, <clears throat> I felt like um, there was something that, you know, I needed to say today, something that really needed to be said. And um, I could not figure out for the life of me what it was. And then I just started thinking about um, a conversation I had with a friend who was telling me about an obstacle that they had gone through and how they felt and you know how it kept them down and you know uh fear is not of god and things that come around to make you feel feel fearful or um, works of the enemy and it's to really throw you off course it's to get you out of your purpose and out of that perfect will and um you know if once you lose focus then anything thing that comes against you will attack you and it will seem insurmountable and so it makes challenges or obstacles seem like they will overtake you when you really need to regain your focus when that happens you know just sit down say a prayer and then regain your focus think about why you're doing what you're doing think about what you want the end result to be and do just that get back on track don't allow things to come up in life to deter you from doing what your purpose in life is um you know obstacles are um those uh frightful things that you see with your eyes and it takes you off of your course and so you want to look at things that come up as challenges as opportunities to do better opportunities to change opportunities for you to show up and show out not only for yourself but for someone else and um you know it's an opportunity for you to see what you're actually made of you know um 
Yeah, I guess pretty much that's it. You know, just stay focused at the end of the day um, because no matter how hard things seem today, tomorrow is another opportunity to make it better. Um, so, you know, whatever you're facing and just also know that whatever comes up, it doesn't come up and you're not equipped to handle it. If you just stop for a moment, take a deep breath, say your prayer, get focused. And then you, when you look back, you realize you've already handled the situation, but you cannot handle any situation in fear. And so you have to let the fear go. Nothing, God is not going to allow anything to overtake you in this life nothing will overtake you. It will frighten you to make you think it's going to overtake you, but it will not. Don't give in to fear. Okay. That's what I want you guys to know. Okay. And, um, Oh, Havila and I have not forgotten about you guys with our sister's talk. Our sister's talk, um, I think was put kind of on the back burner because last week we did our dual vlog for our um, part three of our challenge. And so that kind of got us, got us off course. But we will be back with our sister's talk and you guys can hit us up. You can hit Havila up through um, the Facebook challenge page. Or you can hit me up on do you believe in you at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Any questions you may have, any suggestions you may want, um, or if you need uh, ideas on anything, you know, just hit us up and let us know. We're here to help as much as we can to facilitate change. Change begins with us. It starts in us and it works through us. And that's what we're here for. Not only to change our lives, but to help you change yours. Okay, so pretty much that's it, I guess, because, you know, tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Oh, my goodness, I'm going to have to do my video early because tomorrow night I will be in the house of the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. I'm going to be at the Potter's House on Watch Night Service. Woo! I'm so amped and so excited. I love bringing in the New Year in church because when I start and uh, I start the New Year off with God, you know, because he is the head of my life, everything else throughout that year However hard it may seem, however difficult the challenge may come, um, I am still equipped to handle it. And I have seen that. Hey, at the end of this year, I can tell you some things that have happened to me throughout the year that at the moment, I didn't know how I was going to get through it. But I will tell you through prayer supplication and focus, I was able to manage those things and defeat some. Mm -hmm. Let me just tell you, there's nothing better than the power of prayer. Okay, so um, if I've offended anyone by saying anything about prayer, sorry. <laughs> hey, if it doesn't work for you, it works for me. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Oh, uh, but thanks for watching. And Monet, mm -hmm. anything you want to say since you're here, co-host? Well, let's let's get ready. <laughs> okay, let's get ready for the new year. Okay, let's be all fine. And fabulous for 2016. Right. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, so I hope we all find God, you know, this 2016 for those who don't believe. Let's find God mm -hmm. and, you know, be the best we can be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> that's I don't know what all that's about because it almost seems like she got correct. Now, trust me, none of my kids get no check. None of my kids is crazy. None of my kids have um, ADHD downs or nothing like that. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, that's okay, though. No offense. We love them. Okay. Okay, so anyway, you guys, thanks again for watching. We'll see you tomorrow, New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Looked like it was just summertime and the kids just went to school. And then two blinks, it was Thanksgiving. Three blinks, it was Christmas. Four blinks, is New Year's. Five blinks, it's going to be next summer. <laughs> so that's why you better live life for today. Because tomorrow is not promised. And the days and months are passing so fast. And things are happening so expeditiously that it's almost inconceivable. It's happening so fast. Okay, but uh, yeah, get your goals ready for next year. Write it down and make it plain before the Lord, please. Okay, write it down, <laughs> put it to paper, make it plain, make a vision board, create a vision board, or create sticky notes or something. You have to plan. If you don't plan to succeed, you absolutely plan to fail. But thanks for watching. We appreciate you.
and we love you. And do you believe in you? Because I believe in you. I believe in you. And, and together, together we can make great things happen. Thanks again for watching, you guys. See you tomorrow.